So the next thing to do is to uh, make a roughing tool path. So uh, you can hide the surface. There is the stock material, so we can hide the stock. And then we go to to uh, Madcam, and we select select the model for Madcam. And then we select the cutter for the roughing, and we can use say half inch flat end cutter. And then we select the stock model. So first we select the model to cut and then we select the stock model to define the material or the region to cut. And then it's just to go for the roughing tool path. We can put some stock to leave, stock material to leave. And then we calculate the tool path. And there we have the roughing tool path. And we can see it will not cut all the way in the middle here. It just just remove the material defined from our stock model. Okay, now um, we can hide that and then we can select another cutter. Uh, ball end cutter, quarter of an inch and uh, can create a finishing tool path use a Z level finishing we can leave it the defaults and click OK and uh, now we can see that the Z level finishing tool path will uh, machine the relatively steep areas and leave the flat areas. But we see it uh, will go climb cut and it will uh, rapid climb cut, rapid over climb cut. So if we don't want it to, to rapid and go in one direction, we can optimize so it go back and forth. And then it's just to uh, recalculate the tool path and select optimized direction and now we can see it it will go back and forth no rapid traverses so now uh, we uh, want to machine uh, the flat surfaces so uh, then we go back and select the flat cutter, flat and half inch, and we can create a planar finishing tool path, and we can set a little bit more step over because we'll machine the flat areas. And here we can set an angle limit for uh, for the uh, calculated from the surface normal. So if we want to machine only the flat surfaces, we can set 89 degrees because 90 degrees it will be horizontal, and then it will allow to machine surfaces that has an angle. Of from 0 to 1 degree measured from the horizontal plane. So we can use a contouring and a ramp. Yeah, so it's just click OK. And here we can see it will only machine this flat surface. So, uh, next thing is to machine 
cut out the sharp corners here. We have one there, one there, and two of them here. Those uh, sharp corners, we need to use uh, a flat cutter. So we can continue to and use the same cutter, but we uh, make a pencil tracing toolpath. And the pencil tracing is a dual contact toolpath that will find all the sharp corners on the model. And we will go in one one path on every. So we can use multiple Z cuts as well, but in this case it's enough to go in one path on each. So click OK. We can see it found the sharp corners there, but <clears throat> now we can see it didn't find this one, and that's because uh, it's uh, a flat cutter and this. This, uh, depending on what tolerance you set, uh, it couldn't find this because it's too shallow here. But we can easily cut this by just using a profiling tool path. So we select the profiling and then we just click on the edge curve here. Or edge curves, we can pick them one by one, or we could uh, copy the edge curves and join them to one curve as well. You can do it both ways. So when we selected the edge curves, we choose which side to cut, climb, cut, click and then just click Oh, we can, yeah, click OK. And there we have the profiling that will cut out this sharp corner. Now it's only one thing to do, and that's the, to cut out the, the part from the MDF, and then we want it to cut it on the outside as well. So the, the easiest way is to to uh, select the bottom surface and uh, duplicate the borders of that surface and use, use the border curve for the profiling. So if you press shift and control in Rhino you can select the surface even if it belongs to a solid and then we can go to curve tools and duplicate the border and uh, now the uh, border curve is highlighted so we can go directly for the profiling and uh, we select climb cut and uh, we set the material top and uh, you can set if the height and depth should be measured from the curve or in absolute but now we use the height from the curve so so we uh, we can double click and then madcam will automatically find the material top from the 3d model and the material bottom should be uh, where the curve is located and then we can set the step down and click OK and uh, now it will cut out the part but we can check from the side view and see we can see that we would like to go a little bit deeper and there are two ways to do that. One way is just to move the tool part a little bit. So we can move it downwards a little bit. So it will uh, cut through the MDF board. Or we can also recalculate the tool path. Just click on the tool path and we can tell it to go a little bit deeper below the curve. 
curve so we can put minus 0 0.1 for example we can also uh, uh, remove the the radius lead in and only wrap and now we can see it. now it will go th break through and cut out the part so now we have uh, all the tool paths we have the roughing the Z level planar and pencil tracing and profiling uh, now we can run this in the simulator and we can also change some of the colors the tool path is just to change the layer color so we can change the finishing tool path to another color And there we have the roughing two pots. And the Z level finishing. Flat surface machining, pencil tracing. and then we cut the part out that's it thank you very much